Welcome to Creature Features, the little program where we show you some big animal lovers and their incredible furry friends. Today we're at Star Kennels meeting some wonderful rescue dogs and there's a pet of the week amongst them. So don't go anywhere because it's about to get really interesting. I'm here with the wonderful Elaine at Star Kennels. Elaine, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Now this is the pet of the week. This is Ridley. Ridley. Ridley's nine years old. He's a Mastiff cross, and he came into the pound with serious bite marks to his neck um, that had to be sutured, and so he was in the pound a bit longer than normal because of um, the healing time. Mm -hmm. He's really healthy, isn't He's he? He's the most beautiful, loving dog waiting for his forever home. He gets on with most dogs. He's just not very good with um, boisterous boys. He's good with fluffies. Um, he's not even too bad with cats now. And uh, he's active for his age, but I don't think he'd need a huge amount of exercise, would he? No, I would think probably half an hour a day mm -hmm. would be plenty because he just wants to sit by your side. Yeah. That's what he loves more than anything. The kennels here are fantastic, though, aren't oh, they? Oh, beautiful. And Haley looks after them really well. Yeah. They get good food. They get exercise. They've got a big kennel. Yeah, yeah it's yes. wonderful. So, and these are star kennels, Sanctuary these Tales, Animal Rescue, right? Yes, that's right, yeah. This is where all the dogs come to. The death row dogs mm -hmm. that don't have a direct home or a rescue, they come here until we find the forever home mm -hmm. for them from the pound. So the dogs that nobody else wants that are on death row are the ones that pound round save. And when you say death row, they're going to be killed because the pounds run out of space? Yes, yeah, that's mostly why, why there's no space. Mm -hmm. um, their time is up. Nobody wants them. A lot of the bigger dogs find it harder to find homes. Stronger dogs, and people just don't want to spend the time training them. So we end up bringing them here. But they transform once they're here because they're in a loving environment. They get exercise, good food. So the, the dog doesn't always have issues. It's only normally if they're astray that, you know, we might need to spend a bit more time with them. But they all end up the most beautiful, loving dog. I've got two rescue dogs myself, and I would highly recommend them. They're yes, fantastic, aren't definitely. they? Oh, they give you probably twice as much love. <laughs> because they're so grateful for you saving them. They never forget, do they? They always no, they never forget. No, they don't. No. So how did you come to be here? I think it was on Facebook. I was following f Pound Rounds, and they were looking for volunteers. So I just said, yes, a few hours a week, I'd be happy. And it's just grown from there. So now I'm at Hawkesbury every Thursday morning, helping to take the photographs, take the stories on the dogs, um, which helps to rehome them when you've got a little bit of knowledge on on how the dog is and if it gets on with other dogs and cats and children and all that sort of thing. Oh, that's marvellous. That's so important, isn't it? It takes up a lot of your time, though, doesn't it? And oh, you're a volunteer. Yes, yes, we're all volunteers. We're all here just for the love of the dog. So. But what do you personally get out of it? Oh, just the, the fact that we're saving their lives. It's just so beautiful to see a dog that was looking so sad and forlorn and unloved and maybe two months later you look at them and they're running in the sand with the new owners and the owners will say he saved my life as much as I saved his so it sometimes is maybe they've lost a dog and they didn't think they could ever take another one in and this dog comes into their lives and just absolutely fulfills it to a point that they never thought they'd ever get to again we hear that all the time so that's what you get out of it more than anything. How do we get hold of you if we want to meet beautiful Ridley here? Sanctuary Tales Animal Rescue. Anytime through the week or weekends, there's always somebody here. And just for a meet and greet, and you've got a big piece of ground here. We can walk around and yes. meet him and take him for a walk and everything. Another doggy, bring your doggy here and we do a proper meet and greet. Anyone that sees him will fall in love with him. Thank you so much, Elaine. Thank you very much, Camilla. Really good meeting you. And this gorgeous. Okay, we're going to take him for a bit of a walk now. We'll see you again next time.